I gotta film this today because it's, it's it's just pretty cool. It, it's sitting there running. I barely even powered it on this morning. Uh, I, I just gotta film it. This is probably gonna be about eight volts. I don't know, but here we go. This is Stan's VIC. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I, I got it turned off. It's dropping down to 1.9, 1.8. Everything's off. And it has charged the... No more than what I just did. It's charged it up so greatly. I'm assuming the voltage potential... It's a capacitance leakage in the tubes that's causing it to continue to run. It's the only thing I can figure out, and that's what Stan was speaking of as a capacitance leakage. And the longer you run it, I've run it for so long last night that it actually, it, it was running pretty rapidly for quite some time. Now that's 18 volts right there. I'm going to turn it off, turn it back on. Which Stan pulsed it, my circuit's not a pulsing circuit. So there's other factors here that's not in play with this voltage intensifier circuit. Now I'm on, you, you can see pretty large bubbles come up when you first power it on. And if it sets for a little while, you can see like one inch in diameter bubbles fly up. I'm going to turn it off for good this time. I statically charged, and there's no power connected to the cell. It is completely unconnected. And normally that will slow down and stop, but the longer you run it, the better charge you get, and the more production that remains on the cell. It continues to run, although it's turned off, and that's because the stainless steel plates has become it has become a capacitor. And what you're seeing is what I'm assuming is capacitance leakage. And it will run until it runs out of charge. And right now I got 1.4 volts on the cell. And I'm going to hit it again. I'm going to back up see if you can see those big bubbles I was talking about. Here we go. There's a lot to experiment with here. You see how it's running pretty steadily, although there's no voltage there. And all them little bubbles, and like I said, it, last night it wasn't little bubbles like that. It was actually a, a pretty big stream. It's because I haven't run it very long this morning. Maybe about a minute tops. See that big bubble come up out of there? It's pretty cool. That's voltage potential right there. I hope you guys really enjoy this. And I hope you, with your little toys and your little workshops and all you hobbyists, I hope you really have the materials to really make this thing really get up off the ground and take off. I really don't have access to what much of you guys do. But I'm telling you, try it. I'll post the circuit later. Uh, what the, I'm turning it on here with a gate voltage. I'm actually grounding the gate of the Fed out to turn it off. You got to be able to adjust your gate voltage, your amplitude. But I could sit there and watch this thing run forever. But, uh, that's all for now. One more time. It's pretty cool. One more time. That was 17 volts. It's because the coal got hot. 
It's actually almost hot enough to burn you. Uh, I need more wraps on that. That's why I don't have enough wraps there. There's too much current flow going through the primary. All that, I'm hoping you guys will fix all that. And so you'll have something cool to, to present so I can watch your videos. Thanks for watching.